If you just want to see the dolphin and the whale action, then go to the time on the screen right now. And if you want to see the full story, then the full story starts right now by me saying, last time on the lateral line, the boys and the girls pack Sojin ready for an overnight fishing mission. The main focus this time around was for the cameraman to catch himself a big, beautiful kingfish because the cameraman hadn't caught a good kingfish in over a year. We spent the day fishing a whole bunch of different islands. Alex had a live bait out the back the whole time and I was casting a stick bait in and around the bait schools and it took until the end of the day, but with only a couple of hours left of daylight, Milan somehow, and I'm not quite sure how, but Milan somehow from where we were could see a huge group of birds working bait off the end of an island that we'd already fished that day unsuccessfully and he just started going on about how there's going to be massive kingfish in amongst all those birds and we just pulled the pin where we were doing what we were doing, headed straight over there and within like two, maybe three casts, I had my stick bait ripped off the surface by a huge kingfish. And then that huge kingfish just about ripped me off the back of the boat. After a pretty intense minute or two doing battle with that kingfish, I had him under control and a minute or two after that, he was in the boat and in my arms for a photo. To say that I was stoked to catch that fish is wrong. It has been way, way too long since I caught a big kingfish. It was very, very cool. After that, we found a beautiful anchorage for the night and Milan cooked myself and Alex a beautiful dinner, which consisted of lamb racks cooked over the charcoals on the little grill, a leftover salad from Nana's leftover salad it was from Christmas they had an early Christmas and after we had dinner we were off to bed and then we woke the next morning to go and do it all again and that is where this story picks up good night NATO see you in the morning time does that look like the face of a big kingfish catcher <laughs> <laughs> it will be <laughs> Oh, there's time to get up already. It is, mate. Oh, man. Is it coffee time yet? Almost. Okay. Yeah, this is me at my best. <laughs> How was your night on the boat with the boys? It was good. <laughs> Are you ready Very for a big good. day of kingy action? I am. Ready for a coffee first though. Yeah, I reckon it's your turn. Yeah, sure. Smash one, Come man. Come on. Bring it on! Come on. Yeah, hold that live back. We'll just focus on catching good size. I'll car just wife. tow the live in and I'll be all good. <laughs> the day has begun. And what a glorious day it is. <laughs> The boys are going to skip breakfast this morning because once again they struggled to get out of bed as required and the day is already breaking as far as I can tell. So once Alex drags herself out of bed after morning coffee the tent will come down and then we're headed back to where we were last night. Alex is going to run a big live bait and my stick bait will be set to task to try and repeat what I did yesterday. One more big kingfish for 2022, and then the boys and the girls will be on a meat hunt, trying to find something to take home to have for Christmas, because even though you're watching this video, I think it'll come out on the 30th of January, it is Christmas for us in only a matter of days. So yeah, some uh, fish to take home, to put on the Christmas table would be very much appreciated. Ahoy, anchor! Do you mind if I film your beautiful boat? 
we helped we help design that with Kingsley, that one. Did you? Yeah, we were going to have one. It's a sick looking machine, man. Lots and lots of bait. What do you got to say for yourself, NATO? Big kingfish. Beautiful morning, it was a beautiful morning. Can stand up with no trouble at all today. Anticipation is high. See a little bit of bait on the surface, hey, but not like yesterday. It'll come. It's yeah, got the sun to come up, yep. Look at the bait moving through underneath the boat. It is just insane. Hopefully the kingies turn up. Oh, I'm gonna chop it off on the boat. Time, okay. Couldn't do it, eh? We are in the right spot yesterday, but I think we might have been in the wrong spot today because those boys hooked a big fish, lost it, and they reckon they seen two fish come up on a stick bait and we ain't seen nothing all morning and we were down that end of the island, so... So close. close. Just parked back up in a bay, just tying up some soft bait to go soft bait fishing. I said, Nato, I think there's a heap of whales and birds out there feeding out there. And he's like, let's go have a look. We've just turned up and there's a massive gannet work up. There's whales everywhere. There's dolphins moving. And I think we're going to have a good time catching some big fish. Never mind your big fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's film it. Wow, there's some whales out there, Nato. Yeah, this is going to be cool. What does it say, Nato? Uh, image transmission signal lost. I just launched the drone, was flying by itself, and then lost connection and it's just gone. And we can't see it and I don't know where it is. And I don't feel like I did anything wrong. The gear just... Ah! <laughs> Right in the middle of it all, that's a whale just came up. Whale right there, look at him come up. Oh, right close to the oh, another one. 
Was ist denn da What do you reckon, Alex? I can't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, there. Your whale will come up in it. See? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> 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 Why fish? <laughs> Milan's got the GoPro in the water and there's just a massive bait ball hanging around underneath the boat. You can't see it with, oh, you can see it with the phone. Wow, it's just black with bait under the boat right now.
<laughs> you got a big one. Good step up. Well, I reckon this is about the perfect time to end this video. Thank you all so very, very much for watching the lateral line. I've had a ton of fun. I caught myself a big kingfish. The boys and girls still have a job to do as far as getting some dinner goes, but we'll do that on the way home. But for now, we're just gonna kick back and enjoy the carnage. We've got whales on the surface around the boat. We're just drifting around and there's birds raining in. Dolphins and whales coming up. There's just bait for Africa underneath the boat. Milan's trying to film that with the GoPro. It's, um, yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful way to end the day. And uh, this will be the last fishing trip for the boys in 2022. If you're watching this now on the January the 30th, I think, but for us it's very nearly Christmas, so we're about to have a Christmas break. I hope your guys' Christmas break was awesome and you all had a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. Cheer, cheer, my brothers and sisters. Although imagine if I had the drone filming this. There's well, Dale, uh, there's Dale. There is dolphins, there is whales, and... Oh, two big whales in front of you, Nino! Whoa! Yeah, we can drive out. We can drive out a little bit. Snapper or it's a No, we're eating that. That's awesome. Oh, that ain't no bitch. baby. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice snapper. <laughs> <laughs> nummy, 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 nummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a professional. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell it's got? What is it? <laughs> Double hook up. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa! Is it? Take your time, yeah. okay. No, she's doing perfect. It's all good, just, yeah. Just You're same, good. same? Same, same. Ooh. Just lift up, wind down. Lift up slowly for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna empty me out! <laughs> it's gonna empty me out! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line, eh? What the heck? <laughs> Come on, mate. Up you can. Oh, oh milan has got one too. Whoa! <sighs> yep, just yep, just when you lift up, just lift up a little bit slower. See then how the line doesn't come off? Yep, and then down. A little bit just a little bit gentler with him then he won't. Rip so much line off you. Okay, am I being a bit rough on him? Yeah, you've just been a bit rough, girl. <laughs> 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 cool, <is it>? <laughs> Easy does it. <laughs> it's good fun. <laughs> it's kingfish. Alex got a kingy. What? You got a kingfish. Do I? That's your one right there. Oh, Melan's gonna have to land it for you. Should I just grab it? Do we just flick him back over? Is he little too little? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There you oh, go. Not a snapper. Catching that one. Could have fooled me. <laughs> oh, I've got a little one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leland reckons he's got a good one. Might hook the whale. Hook the whale? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the kingfish then? No, it's a, king, it's a snapper. Is it, it is a snapper. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Best thing about whales eating pilchards is there's lots of snapper and oh. kingies underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Alex is getting smashed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another little kingfish here again. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Raven. You're like, you're like a pro. You might be on the front. You might be on the front. Nah, me on the terrible angle. Oh. Hold on, I just need to readjust. In you the know? meantime, while you're keeping all those kingfish off my line, <laughs> I can just keep on hauling snappers. You keep bringing home the bacon, boy. And Alex can keep up. Uh, snap? No, no well. Can I you, do up the drag? Yep, yeah, but you can't hold the rod real high. You've got to hold the okay. rod like flat out to the water. Like this? Flatter. Like so it's sticking here. straight out. Yep, that's oh, it. Oh, okay. You can't lift it any higher than that. That's it. So then go down and get your little winds up. So go drop the rods into the water. Yep. Wind up a little bit and then lift up. Ooh. And then wind down. That's it. It's now you're, now you're smashing it. Far. Yeah. It's not really moving. Just little bits at a time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we lost the drone, mate. Eh, yeah, I can't believe I lost the drone either. <laughs> If you don't wind the handle, then no line comes in. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> Alex is getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is tired and there's still line screaming off the reel. You might have a real good one. Right, I just need a... <laughs> Bree, what do you need? Like, con you know, what's that word? I need to just take a con moment. Yeah, take a moment. <sighs> lift and wind. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah, you got the it. Rhythm. Yes. <laughs> Little bits at a time. Under the boat again. Good fishing. Good fishing, all right. I can lure it to the bottom. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fight goes on. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there, Alex. Yeah, I do. I know. I'm close. I got a huge close. kingfish is going to pop up. As big as my one. You reckon? Yeah, All it's going right. to be massive. It can't be that big. Yeah, it will be. Okay. What did you just say? My back's on fire. Your back is on fire. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, I hope this is just a monster. <laughs> I'll be very disappointed if it's not. Don't be disappointed. Okay. It'll be a good fish, but it, it might just be like a huge mungies monster one. Beautiful technique, Alex. Thank you. Just little bits at a time. Little bits at a time. Man, I want to see this fish. I see it, Alex. Here he is. It's a kingfish. Oh, he's a stunner. He's a stunner. Just yet. Yeah, just your Christmas sashimi. <laughs> just take it easy, Alex. Just take it easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a ripper. <laughs> Get ready to hold it. Put your rod down. Put the bail arm off your reel, Alex. And then um, just be careful with that hook. Well done. That is an awesome fish. I got it. Hold him like this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the tail on my dashboard. Go, Alex. That's pretty big. <laughs> Was that oh, worth it all? It was worth it, yeah. It's a nice Tired. fish. Real nice fish. fish. Not as big as NATO's. Definitely not as big as NATO's, <laughs> but... But a good one. You did your one on soft bait gear. <laughs> on that light rod, eh? <laughs> well, the call's been Stoked. made. Alex wants Christmas sashimi, and that is the perfect fish for that. <laughs> so that will be the end of it all. Choo-choo, Alex! Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> I don't even need to hound you for a build video because I've already got it. Yeah, nice and quick, <laughs> eh? Oh, and one more thing, Milan. Do you reckon you could buy me a drone for Christmas? I'll buy you a drone for Christmas. It's going to break the bank. <laughs> it's going to break the bank, all right. Thank you.
You know the house is starting to come to the end when your jobs aren't nogging, framing, screwing in bolts and generally just cleaning up the site. Now things are getting good. I've started my first piece of internal painting. It's only the garage and the ceiling at that, but it's finishing so it's good. If I haven't been painting, I've been doing bats. Now it's not the nicest job in the world, but to be honest, other than getting hot and sweaty in all the overalls and the face coverings, it's fun and you get to see heaps of progress over a short period of time. I think bats have got better over the years, as I've battered before but I was like 20 years ago and it was horrible. This I can handle. As quick as I can get bats in the walls, Andre is charging on with the jib board. Now there's not a lot of jib board in the house, but it has been used in wet areas, the bedrooms and the ceilings. I'm not the biggest fan, but it's cost effective and it's going up super fast. Andre has said on a lot of occasions, if you want to save money, use it on the whole house. But my mind's stuck on timber linings. With weeks rocking by, the brickies just keep on battling on the outside. I didn't really comprehend how big a job the bricking was going to be, but it's huge. I think we had 30 pallets of bricks delivered, and I think Greg wants me to get a few more, as we're slowly running out. But running out means we have bricks consumed by the house. I'm still super happy I went with the bricks, as once it's up, you don't have to do anything with it, other than give it a wash on the odd occasion. I wanted a house that was user friendly, one that didn't require that every few years you had to spend a heap of money or a heap of time keeping a watertight and in good nick. Hopefully the place will only require a wash once a year, giving me more time to spend with the family, grow food and get out on the water fishing. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.